It's Mr. Maxwell for Penguin AP Biology. I'd like to uh, teach you guys today how to um, answer uh, short Fourier response questions. Um, the long Fourier response questions are real similar. Um, in fact, any kind of question you're going to answer uh, for your response is pretty much similar. Um, the first thing you want to do is uh, take a look at the question and determine how many different pieces of information uh, the question's asking for. So go ahead and read through the question now. And then um, we're looking for how many pieces of information. Don't try to answer it. Don't do anything other than figure out how many pieces of information. Okay, so hopefully you came up with uh, there were three pieces of information it was asking for. Um, there are three things here. And now figure out what those three things are. So you should have uh, come up with basically the things that are bolded. You want one scientific question, you want a hypothesis that could be tested, and then you want to describe the effects of ethyl alcohol. It's pretty straightforward, but it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I actually graded this uh, one on, on the exam a couple thousand of them one year and it's amazing how many students uh, seem to answer questions that weren't there or avoided answering a question that was there so um, try to think about what um, possible answers could be for each of these so you should have come up with um, that uh, you know a scientific question uh, some people may have a hard time between what's a question what's a hypothesis um, a question is just a general statement of uh, what the you know what the things looking for um, possible questions how does uh, alcohol consumption affect urine output that's a real was a really common one to see um, state a hypothesis that can be tested you have to actually state urine output increases or urine output put decreases or there's no change in urine output or needs to be something that you can actually test and see if that happened. Um, and then finally it asks you to describe the effect of ethyl alcohol on urine production. And so, um, you know, it, it might seem a little redundant to say, uh, hypothesize that, uh, you know, urine output increases and your output did increase, but that, that would get you the points. Um, so uh, take a stab at uh, read this student's response and see how many points uh, you would give it. So this question should earn, uh, this answer should earn three points. A question regarding this experiment could be, what effect does different concentrations of ethyl alcohol have on the amount of urine output on a population of rats? So absolutely, that's a, that's a completely reasonable question. Second one is, uh, because alcohol acts in as an antidiuretic, there would be more output of urine the higher the concentration of al alcohol. So more output of urine, higher concentration of alcohol, that's, that's a good hypothesis. And then the rats that ingested higher concentration of ethyl alcohol produced more urine. Absolutely, that's, that's, what, that's what happened. So this is a three, point, three points out of three points. Take a look at this next one. Okay, so how many um, points do we give this? Well, let's see. How are different levels of ethyl alcohol dependent on urine output? Well, that's actually got cause and effect reversed, doesn't it? Uh, urine output depends on different levels of ethyl alcohol, so no point there. Um, different levels of ethyl alcohol are dependent on urine output. Again, I think we're getting... Um, cause and effect, different levels of ethyl alcohol are dependent on urine output. That's, that's cause and effect are backwards. And then uh, part C, uh, the more ethyl alcohol present, the higher the urine output levels. And that's absolutely correct. Um, that's a, 
you know, that's a good, um, that's what happened. Um, so one point for part C, but none for A or B. And then finally, go ahead and try to figure this one out. Okay. So, um, does concentration of an ethyl alcohol solution consumption affect volume of urine? Okay, so that's a good question, isn't it? Concentration of an ethyl alcohol solution consumption does affect volume of urine because a 5% ethyl alcohol solution produces 4.7 milliliters of urine. So I'm not sure if that's a, don't think really that's a hypothesis, is it? If they just said affects, affects volume of urine output, uh, perhaps. The more concentrated the solution of ethyl alcohol, 5%, the more urine produced, according to the data on the table. So I would give a point for A and C, but not for B. Okay, so that should um, 